nice. Let's go right on into this nursery rhyme for our music exec mind, okay? So one for the money, okay? So now you may have heard this before. I'm not gonna take credit for it. It's not my nursery rhyme, but it certainly applies itself to our music industry. So one for the money, okay? Think about how the music will make money first. Now, when I say make money first, I don't mean like, okay, what's your bottom line? What's your projection? You're looking at the song. How much money is this song gonna make? I don't mean that. What I mean is how can we position ourselves for the money to come in from the music, okay? So, um, so that's what I mean. Think about that first, one for the money. Think about how the music will make money. Do you have a label? Do you have your own identifiers? Are you set up to receive? Do you have a business bank account? You know, are you using CCSs? These things that will help you think about the money, okay? One for the money, all right? Two for the show, all right? Think about what you need to show to make the money. And, and there's an other side of this too. Also think about what you need to show, uh, you know, in, in order to make everything else go perfect. This is like that front facing thing, okay? So this is the show, two for the show, making sure that everything looks good. It needs to, it needs to be what it needs to be. Is this a business plan? Is this a, a relief schedule? You know, what exactly is this? Is this paperwork? Are you doing everything you need to do? To, to make sure that money comes in. It's two for the show. What do you need to show, you know, to make that money? Is it progress? Is it traction? You know, what do you need to show? Okay, so we need to show something in order to move to the next step, which is to get ready. Okay, so three to get ready. All right. And this is making the music. This is writing the song. This is doing everything we need to do to get ready for, for the show that, we, that we're ready to get ready to do, you know? So we need to get ready here and that's giving us the materials that we need to move forward, okay? So one for the money, two for the show, show everything you need to, and then three to get ready. Now, some of us, I think, are starting at get ready. I think we're starting with making the music. We're starting with writing the song. You know, we're starting here. We're starting at getting ready, but we haven't thought about how this music is going to make money. Have I shown everything I need to to make this money, okay? And like you say, we know that the music is more important than the money, but the two are inseparable, okay? And then last but not least, four to go. This is when you release. This is when you perform. This is when you pitch. This is when you're actively out exploiting the content, like you're making it happen. You're on the campaign trail. This is when that time is, is, uh, uh, is right because you've taken care of making sure that the money will come in. You've shown everything you need to for the money. Now you have number three, which is you're ready. You've got all the things out there in play. And now it's time to go. Everything is out there. The music is coming in. Now your royalties are generating and they, they, they come home, okay? So I know this isn't in this presentation, but it's something that I should say. It's impossible to listen to music without generating a royalty, okay? Uh, unless you're doing it in an untrackable way. Like, you know, you're just listening to a band of musicians in the studio while they're creating music and you're listening to them live. And even that is supposed to carry a royalty because it's a live performance. So it's really virtually impossible to, to play music, listen to music, and there not be some type of financial exchange. It's already set up, okay? So once the music's out, the money's coming in, it's did we do these other steps? Did we, did we do the one for the money? Did we do the two for the show? Are we really ready and are we really able to go? Okay, so this nursery rhyme, nursery rhyme for our music exec mind is just a simple way to keep our music exec mind active. It's a really easy way when you're sitting there and you think about your next move in music, you say, wait a second, one for the money, one for the, am I set up properly to make this move? Okay, two for the show. What, am I, what do I need to show to make this move? Okay, am I ready? Do I have the move put together? All right, then let's go. Okay, so it's very simple, very easy, and we can always use it to make sure we, we're keeping the music business in order. So approaching our music career as a business is essential to our success as an artist, okay? So keep the first things first and everything else will come together perfectly, okay? I love this quote. It says, the thing we love should be our hobby and the thing the marketplace loves should be our business. This is from Warren Buffett. And I think it's a great quote because it speaks to what we're talking about. How many of us are making our hobby our business? Like your, your music and you love it and you're doing everything, but it's not producing the return. And so then you're going to do something else to get the financial end of your life together to only to come back and put it into your hobby. Okay. And so that is what we need to do all in our industry. Okay. So we want to make our hobby the thing we love, which, which is making music. So we, we have that down pat, right? 
So let's just do that for the love of it. Now, let's get serious about the marketplace. What does the marketplace say about our music industry? What does the marketplace expect us to have on our music? What does the marketplace expect us to show, you know, when we, when we present ourselves as a, uh, an artist, okay? These other things that need to be put into place for us to have that true success, that needs to become our business, the business of learning the music business. 